Got a lot of stocks to talk about, tons of analyst notes out this morning. Let's start with the tech world. Go to the New York Stock Exchange where Caroline Woods is standing by. Any uh, fresh commentary on ARM after last week, Caroline? What's, uh, what's the read from the sell side? Well, it's giving us a, a potential, it's a potentially a proxy for investor appetite for new issues of, of stock. We, of course, have Instacart this week. And based on ARM's successful IPO, we saw Instacart last week or Maple Bear, the parent company, uh, boost its uh, price target range. So it's an interesting uh, a time. Maybe we're finally starting to see some thawing out. But in terms of ARM specifically, uh, we're just starting to see the analyst coverage kind of come in. It should probably take a couple weeks. We did see a, a few ratings already, and Bernstein is weighing in and actually giving it an underperform rating because of its premium valuation. So you may remember ARM IPO'd on Thursday at $51 a share. That was higher than its initial range. It ended up closing Friday session at $60.75 a share. So that was up about 20%. And this analyst at Bernstein doesn't see any upside from here, actually set a price target of $46 a share. Uh, Arm is currently trading down about 4% to kick off the week, around 58.20 right now. And this analyst over at Bernstein just says it's too soon to declare Arm an AI winner. She's worried expectations for 11% revenue growth in fiscal 2024 could be too optimistic given six cyclical headwinds, and also just a maturing mobile end market. She's also cautious about the royalty picture for ARM in the longer term. Says management is signaling reaching 5% royalties by fiscal year 2026, but she thinks it'll take longer to reach that, approaching 4% by fiscal year 2027 for room for room with room for a modest increase after that. So it could be a delay in terms of that royalty picture there as well. So. Uh, we, this is a, an underperform rating. We did see Needham give Arm a hold rating, and then previously, actually before it debuted, New, New Street gave it a buy rating and a $59 price target. Uh, of course, it's now basically trading a, a little bit below that with uh, today's declines, now down about 5.7%, but still above that $51 a share IPO price. Okay, so uh, still, though, not exactly, you know, cheerleading the stock uh, up today. So it's given some back, down about 6%. Uh, chip makers also lower by about three quarters of a percent. Not the only uh, note out in that sector either. Got one on Micron that's a little bit more positive. So let's go there. It's up a percent right now. Yes, Micron's up about 40% year to date, and Deutsche Bank thinks it can rally another 20% wow. from here. Actually, upgraded shares to buy from hold with a price target of $85. So, as you can see, Micron currently now trading with today's gains, as you said, up about 1%, trading around $70.56. Reasons for this analyst's optimism at Deutsche Bank well, DRAM prices, they say, have started to improve a quarter, at least one quarter ahead of their expectations, thanks to strong demand for. AI servers says recent supply chain checks suggest that the price increases are sustainable and should accelerate in the next two quarters given limited supply growth. As a result, Deutsche Bank expects Micron to guide fiscal Q1 revenue and earnings above the current consensus on Wall Street. See street estimates for the remainder of 2023 and 2024 moving up meaningfully post earnings. So Micron getting a nice pop despite some of the weakness that we're seeing in some of the other chip makers today, uh, up about 1%. I will say, despite its impressive year-to-date run, it's up now about 41% year-to-date, uh, about 72% of analysts have a buy rating on shares still. So Bernstein now joining the, or I'm sorry, Deutsche Bank now joining the majority. The median price target is $80 a share for uh, Micron. So Deutsche Bank's is $5 higher than that price target. Okay. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a uh, slog this morning for chips, despite the positive note out in Micron, pretty much the only thing that's working for the group. But definitely a very uh, bullish note, for sure. Uh, $20 yeah. pop to the target. That's big. On my list, I have Applied Materials and KLA also higher. But otherwise, it's a, it's a sea of red for yeah. chip makers and, of course, chip designer for ARM. Thanks, Caroline. Good stuff. All right. Uh, keeping us uh, in the loop on... Uh, the arm coverage as it develops. Not exactly the most optimistic one from Bernstein.